This video is going to show you the power of my new ChatGPT SEO method. Today is the is the 4th of January 2024. On the 2nd of January 2024, I wrote this article, Best Sweaters for Men in 2024. Fairly basic article. I don't know why this is saying that this image is broken. It's not. Very, very simple article. Uh, nothing special about it except this box right here. Now, what I've been doing is I've been using my sitemap to easily input a product comparison table on my articles. If you want to know how I'm actually writing the content, then I recommend watching this video right here. My best ChatGPT SEO workflow for 2024. This video is not going to go through everything. If you want to know how I'm writing this content, please watch this video or on go on my channel, click on lives and watch any of these three videos here. In fact, in one of these videos, I believe it's this one right here that I streamed three days ago, I actually live streamed making the article that I'm gonna talk about in this video, which is this one right here. Now, interestingly enough, if you go on Google and type in sweaters 2024, which, yeah, you can say it's not the best keyword, blah, blah, blah. I don't really, I'm not interested in that, okay? I think sweaters 2024 is a damn good keyword. Now, we're actually on the first page, which is, it's pretty crazy. Like, look at this. This is in Ireland as well, okay? So I'm not in America right now. I don't have an American VPN or anything like that. I, if you're in America, please do this test because I'm very, very curious to see if we're also anywhere near the first page in America. This is what I've been trying to tell people. I'm so excited to see if, how far I can go with this. I'm currently writing 60 blog posts per month. Imagine being on the first page after less than 24 hours, pretty much, on Google for Sweaters 2024. Now that is, I'm sorry, but that is absolutely crazy. And I know that a lot of people overuse the word crazy and insane on, uh, especially in the SEO space on YouTube. But just look at this article's progress, okay? So I'm going to go through a few more of these articles as well. And again, if you want to know how I'm writing these, please check out the videos that I showed you at the beginning. So the first day we had two clicks, 13 impressions. And I noticed Sweaters 2024, Men's Sweaters 2024 as well. So I'm guessing we're even higher for that. I would guess so, because that's what the whole article, I mean, literally third, no, second. Second in Ireland for Men's Sweaters 2024. Now, it doesn't have a huge amount of searches. I do understand that. I do know that, et cetera, et cetera. But this is still a really good keyword. And if Google is willing to give me this keyword, it will be willing to give me something like best sweaters or hopefully just sweaters as well. So we got best sweaters 2024. On the most recent day, we got 42 impressions, six clicks on a brand new article. I'm, I'm sorry, but that is really, really impressive. And I'm really, really happy with that result. So we're going to go in reverse order here. I'm going to show you the results of some of these other uh, articles as well. This is the most the most recent article that was released this morning. You can see it's already indexed. So, so far, the two every day thing is not causing me any significant issues. This will not have anything on Search Console yet because obviously it's a very, very new article. It's a brand new article. So we'll just skip forward to the next one. This one also should not have any uh, Search Console just yet. It's a little bit too soon as well for that one. This is the first one that might have some results here. One impression, not that great. We can check something like men's dress shirts 2024. If I was on the first page right here for this keyword, I would also be happy. I don't think we will be though. We're not on the first page, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, you can't win them all, basically, obviously. You can't just be first page for sweaters 2024 every time, let's be honest. Suits 2024, that would be a cool keyword to get. Let's have a look where we are. See if we're on the first page. We are not on the first page. That's fine as well. I'm excited to see the result of some of these articles. This one we've already seen as well. These are being released every 12 hours, two per day. Um, yeah, quite a lot of articles are being released right now. Men's Pants 2024. And 2024, let's see if we're on the first page in Ireland. We are not. That's okay though, let's see the countries here. Mexico, randomly, okay. That it seems kind of weird because we also have a Spanish version, but that's fine. 
so I'm doing the most recent date just because otherwise there's not really going to be much here, to be honest with you. Looks like this one hasn't done that well. The coolest men's t-shirts of 2024. Obviously, some of these will need more time. Uh, we got 2 and 11 here. Outfit 2024. That would be a cool keyword to get, to be honest with you. If I can get on the first page for some more of these keywords. It says we're on the first page here. I don't know for which... That's interesting. I don't know what the key. I don't know what the uh, which page it is or what the key or like where it is, but it does say we're on the first page here, which is pretty interesting. So I would love to see a bit more detail in that. Uh, let's see, winter jackets. Yeah, a lot of Arabic SEO right here from the translation piece. We'll put this on three months now, just because we're kind of sufficiently deep into the articles now to actually see something here otherwise it'd be a bit pointless let's have a look how this one's doing probably not very well 136 impressions it's only it's still only been live for it's been alive live for quite a while actually 12 impressions not too bad in a day yeah we've had better we've had worse it's been a while since I've done one of these update videos. Uh, I do like making them just to show the methods and how they're doing, etc. Men's clothing brands of 2024. I knew that this would translate well into Arabic. This was actually what I was trying to do. Um, I use eTranslate, Shopify plugin. If you're curious, I, I do plan on making videos about that at some point. Um, I've just been a little bit busy making other videos. This one here seems like it was a bit of a fail. The art of casual, elegance, leisure wear. It didn't really have a good framing. It's not specific enough. It doesn't... I mean, what is the keyword exactly? Uh, leisure wear, probably. But yeah, just sometimes they don't, just don't work quite as well. Sometimes they work really well for Swedish. Some people have told me that the language is not that good. Uh, I don't care about the quality of the translation. I just care about bringing traffic. Now, this is the one that inspired the movement, you might say. This is the article that I wrote live on a video showing this method for the first time um, on the 3rd of December. And then since then, I kind of lost the method. I stopped thinking about it. But then I randomly saw that this article was absolutely stomping. And when you see that something is working in SEO, the best thing you can do is double down on that shit, <laughs> basically. Sorry to swear. But, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Let's have a look. 2024 suit trends. There we go. Beautiful. I'll take first page for that as well. So yeah, you can rank first page with this. I've been talking about this for a year. Well, like a year and a bit. Well, actually, basically just a year now. But nothing's changed. Guys, nothing has changed. You can still rank for some amazing keywords. Page one. Obviously, it depends where you are in the world. Sometimes it'll be page one, sometimes it'll be page two, sometimes it'll be, be page 300. It just depends. A lot of these, they're not the exact style of article that I've been talking about in the last few days. Um, these are more just general e-commerce articles. I'll show you what I mean by that. Instead of the table at the top, they've just got the jeans plugged in like this, but I actually changed the methodology. And I thought the box at the top would do better. And so far, it, it's proving to be the case that um, the tables are doing better. So we're almost done here. I just want to show you a few more interesting ones because there are a few more interesting ones for sure. 79 impressions in a day for old men clothes. Love it. That is a huge amount of potential traffic. We like anything that gets over 50 impressions per day. That's kind of the, what I, I'm looking for when I write an article because that means you can get about 1 to 10 clicks per day per article. This one here is doing things that I, I've only seen on ice suits. I've never seen this on two men. A lot of people are going to say it's because of the domain authority of two men. That is probably partially true. But it's also the translation piece. Again, like if you actually look at the impressions here, 383 in a day, they're all... Japanese. Yeah, literally like nearly all of them are Japanese, which is kind of in very, very interesting. Uh, so very little effort to put the translation piece in place. And you can see the effects just are amazing. 270 clicks and 5,445 impressions for one single blog post that was released 
less than two months ago, which is really, really good for, it's still technically a fresh domain website or like pretty fresh domain website. There's, it wasn't an expired domain. It was a new domain a year ago. And yeah, it's still kind of a new domain now compared to iSuit, which has got 12 years under its belt. This is another one that looks like it's going to pop off very soon. Let's have a look. 123. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, it's about to pop. Nine clicks in a day, which is really, really good. It seems to be going to the Portuguese version, which is very, very interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This has been an overview of whether or not the methods that I'm talking about on YouTube all the time actually work. I think these are invo important videos to make. And we just hit another all-time high of 471 clicks in a single day, purely on Google. We also get clicks on Yandex and Bing, so I'm excited to see where we can go with that as well. But yeah, new all-time high of 471. I'm hoping to double that to 1,000 in the next few months by blogging like an absolute madman. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.